New at five, a college park officer says he chose a suspect's life over his own when he tried to stop a teen in a car believed to be stolen. The officer was run over but is now out of the hospital. 11 Lives Latasha Given spoke to a police supervisor about that decision not to use lethal force in the case. And we learned this afternoon Officer Ivory Morris underwent a successful surgery and is now home recovering. We also learned that police say the teen suspects may have been casing out a hotel parking lot trying to find cars to steal when Officer Morris tried to stop them. He looked in his eyes and he looked and the suspect looked into his eyes and fled and still his it happened so quickly his mindset was I don't want to take this child away. That moment coming after College Park police say Officer Ivory Morris spotted a stolen car early Saturday morning that had shown up in the city's flock camera system. Police say as Officer Morris tried to stop the car spotted on Southport Drive, it sped towards him. Behind the wheel was a teen. Investigator Morris actually had every right to use use of force. And Investigator Morris just expressed that he didn't want to take anyone's child away from them. The car hit Officer Morris and another teen suspect as the car sped towards them. Both were taken to the hospital. Morris was just released after undergoing major surgery. His police supervisor says even as the teen driver was threatening Morris's life, he was focused on not using lethal force. A mother is still with her son. Investigator Morris is still alive. And I know that everyone can say what they would have done or should have done, but I think that Investigator Morris did what he felt he needed to do. And police tell us they have leads on that other teen suspect, but he is not yet in custody.